Hello, my name is André Marji. I'm an SAP consultant, expert in AS retail. In today's video, we're going to see the screen sequence in the article master data. Do you know that it's possible to change the position of a field from one tab, the article master data, to another tab? So that's what you're going to see today, um, that you as a consultant, you can manipulate it, you can change it and put fields in different spots. You can also add the fields um, in any of the tabs. You can remove a tab, you can add a tab to the article master data. So before I go to the video, I ask you to subscribe to the channel, to give a like, to have more people watching to this video. Okay, now we're gonna see how it works the system. Okay, so I'm already inside SAP. We go to the transaction code SPRO, and then we start with Logistics General, um, Material Master, and then um, the first option here, um, define structure of data screens for each screen sequence. So here we have all the screen sequences uh, provided by SAP. Um, we can create a Z, I mean, just copy from an existing one or use the ones that are offered by SAP. So I'm gonna select um, the Retail Fashion tab and then I go on Data Screens. And here I'm gonna uh, walk it through field by field, I mean, the most important fields um, to make sure that we explore that in detail. So that's the screen sequence that we just selected. And then we have the other field, the screen number. Screen number, we don't change it. We don't create, we don't, yeah, we don't change the number, um, but we can change the description. So you might be used to the description that you read here, basic data, list and purchase and sales, logistics, POS, and etc. And that one you can change. And you see also in this field, something that's really important, um, not many people know it, is that um, the value one on screen type field means the tabs that you have in the article mass data. When you go to MM41, MM42, MM43, you see all the tabs. So you can delete a tab from here and then the tab will not be shown on the article master data or you can add, you can copy one and create um, yeah, as a copy and then put whatever description. And then the number two means the additional data. When you go to the article master data, you have all the tabs, you have that available fields, but when you click on additional data in the article master data, I'm gonna show you as an example. Here, for example, um, that's the main screen of the article mass data, the one that you're gonna see now. And then uh, you see the basic data tab, and then I click on additional data. That corresponds, um, I mean, you see all the sub tabs. So that corresponds to number two, that when I scroll down, I can see all the options here. Okay. And then there's another field, um, screen container. That means um, the number of subscreens that will be assigned to it. We're gonna see in the next page. And then we also have a maintenance status that corresponds to um, the areas that are updated um, when you uh, create or update. For example, when you um, do some change or some updating on basic data. That means that all the letters that are in the first line here will be um, recorded in the MARA table, for example. Um, that means the areas that were updated. So that's the purpose of this field. So if we go to different area, different tab, like purchasing, you see that uh, only the value E will be um, updated. Maybe you have seen that before, you didn't understand the reason for that, just to display the areas that are updated. Okay, and then I select the 
let's go to the next page. I select the first IT line on basic data. I go on subscreens. And here it's very um, important. Um, that's where you can um, precisely spot the field in a different area. So that's our screen sequence. And this is uh, the screen number. It's all 04, this example. Um, here, just um, a consecutive number. I mean, just the uh, item lines. And here we have the combination of program and um, the subscreen number. So every subscreen contains um, a group of fields. So if I click on here and then go to view data screen, I see, I mean, the base data view. Okay. And then um, to see, I mean, the meaning of this subscreen because we have a variety of subscreens. I open here, I read the 1010. That means generic material and variants. And then if I want to see the subscreen, You see just the field. So the subscreen corresponds to the field itself. Um, and then you decide where you want to put the field. For example, here, it's the 1040. 1040 is um, EAN um, values. So, in this example, as standard, it's part of the basic data, but you could add to a different tab. So yeah, that's the main functionality. Um, moving on, we also have, or we have to do it. We need to uh, leave this part. Also here, I don't want to save anything. And then we go to assign screen sequences. Um, to user, article type, transaction in industry sector. There are a few options. We are um, interested in one of them. So the first here, we see that um, as option, like all users can um, see the tabs, okay? And then the most important is that the reference article type, remember that you have a, uh, article type and article master data, and then you have um, the reference where you can group um, many article types into one reference. Um, or you also can just leave with the star here. It means all article types will have um, a screen um, sequence um, that we just saw uh, previously. So yeah, that's the option that is available. Um, in this case, for example, it means all users, regardless of the article type, and then uh, the screen sequence. That means um, the areas and the tabs, the fields that will be shown um, on MM421, 2, and 3. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you enjoy it. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.